They say happiness comes in waves. But beyond this beautiful wave of Yokri River lies the nefarious activity that has bedeviled the nation's economy, one of several scattered across the South South region. This is our journey into the nation's oil region found predominantly in the Niger Delta area. In 2014, on these waters, my crew and I were crudely held hostage while chasing an aborted gas project in Ogidigbe. Eight years after, we return to this axis and our destination is the home of the man regarded as the strong man of Guaramatu Kingdom, High Chief Government Owezide Epamupolo, a.k.a. Tompolo. His mien may not easily give him away considering his perceived capacity. He sits with me and speaks to his commitment to a better Nigeria, his determination to crush any group wanting to truncate federal government's efforts at protecting the pipelines, and his optimism on a rebound of crude oil production numbers. A lot of people are now running Elta Skeeter because they know that there is nothing in this country concerning the River Rhine that I don't know. The people in Imu, River State, were all brothers and friends. So once we dis discuss and agree, and that is the more reason why our people in River State, maybe they are, they, they, are, they are going to start any moment from now. Once they are fully engaged, and then we now still call the security people to call their people to order. Mm. Once that is done, then we are good to go. He's not done yet. He makes this weighty allegation. When you are coming from Wari, you see security as boot all over the places. If you look at the old setting, where this illegal bunkering is taking place, if you have one uh, Navy gunboat, one army gunboat, the extreme end is where the real bunkering is taking place. To get the job started, about 17,000 locals have been brought, briefed and deployed across the region. To understand the scale of work, we join these young men who are currently providing intelligence about the diverse and difficult terrain of the region to government security agencies. It's a journey that takes us sometimes into the night, speeding and bumping through the unending sea waves just to arrive at locations called camps, where vandals operate by making careful but illegal assertions onto crude lines, traversing the soils of the mangrove swamp and beneath the sea connecting them through pipelines into reservoir tanks constructed in the bushes where they cook the crude to get diesel, kerosene and empty the residue onto the environment. Wow. Whilst stealing may be occurring in the creeks, an unsuspecting quantity of crude allegedly leaves the country through illegal connections from the creeks directly into the sea where barges load them and sail off. We've just been tipped off of such illegal insertions. Wading through the crude stained parts, we arrive at the scene and it's time for men to go to work. It will involve all measures just to unearth what is believed to be concealed. After hours of work, what do we have? Look at the three pipes here. Now you can see the three pipes clear here. This is the point of a suspected insertion and illegal connection. You can see there are three pipes here. The big one is a national trunk line, which is the Transfocados trunk line, a 24 inches pipeline. Now, you see those two pipelines on top of it making um, a head knock on the pipe. Professionally, this looks unkept. This looks suspicious because it's tapped on top of a traveling crude line. And the question is, why do we have that insertion on a script top of a 24 inches pipe, double six inches pipe, traveling all the way? And it is suspected to be traveling all the way to the, um, to the high sea. This is what we have here. Those two lines traveling. 
those two lines traveling and joining up themselves here to my mind it tells me um it will give it more pressure through several coordinates the line according to the security guys has a discharge point in the sea so we hop up back into the boat and sail off hey, the river that they rock so who was this uh, not uh, remove it. Yeah, remove the flag. So they keep something here to cover the flow of oil. So if they take it now out, then the oil can flow through. Is this about to become the biggest crude heist in federal government's bids to crush all thieves? Most definitely, the last shouldn't be heard of what security operatives here suspect is a major unaccounted offshore fleece point of Nigeria's crude oil. Olu Phillips, Charleston, News.